let's start this video <laughs> with our song. Okay. Okay. Twizzy Talk. We're here to talk about. You two ladies have been friends for a really long time. Has there ever been a period where you were in a fight and didn't talk to each other? Dun dun dun. One one thing we should address here. Someone said this must be a new member. I don't enjoy these chat videos. Hmm. Tell me more. Would you guys ever do thrifting episodes with your booze? I don't know if they can hang. <gasps> what a good idea. Well, Shady, you came in the car with all the body. I did, you guys. I just put my, I was, I'm using this um, scalp oil so I can like get my hair back because <laughs> I've lost it all. And um, I was showing Edwina, it's so oily. Do you ever like take out your hair and it just stays? It was like this, but I had to, I, I couldn't let you guys let you guys see that. You were giving me like 80s like was I after party. Is it, is it the big uh, blazer? I don't remember this blazer being so big but then again it was right before I went to New York and I like remember we went shopping and I was like a different size. True it was. You're giving me Miami Vice vibes and you're giving me model, model S with your hair back. Do you remember this outfit? This is one of those ones from Salvation Army. One of those jumpers. Oh yes. Yeah so I'm wearing one of the jumpers yes. from Salvation Army. Look at us rocking our thrifted finds and we didn't even talk about it. I went I went to work and then Wina went to work. Deseret. Deseret. Salvation, Salvation Army in New York. We for New York. For New York in New York. Oh my god. Too bad we didn't we didn't film that Salvation Army trip. That was a lot. No, but did you see what Sammy just posted? Of course you didn't. Why am I even asking? <laughs> well, you showed me the Barbie stuff. No, she just posted something like 20 minutes ago. Oh no, I just came from the eye doctor. I know, you made your appointment without me. Shayna, how about we're a year behind? It's like, okay, I already made my appointment we without you. So. Do you know why I made an appointment? I went to my, um, you know how you go to your job and you have all the benefits of going to do, doing all the Oh, tests. yeah. So I was like, oh, I, I'll get $100 toward my deductible if I do the vision test. Because I'm prepping for surgery. I want to get all the extras. I know I'm going to use it this year. So I'll probably get like $800. Oh, when do you know when you're going to do the surgery? Well, they keep pushing back my pap, but I'm, I have a pap next week. And then from there, I'll go get the oh, scan. when is it going to be? Make sure I'm I'm here. We need yeah, to coordinate. I'm, I'm your I'm caretaker. To, I know. I'm trying to do this as I soon as possible. I even got the dress. The candy striper dress. You do? Remember? I was with you. <laughs> this is my BBL surgery, but it's a fibroid <laughs> removal. No, but I, you need to make sure I'm here because I'm going next month. I know. They're going to be like October. It was like, you're gone in October. I mean, I don't know. I know for sure in August. And then I don't know after that. But funny thing is, we were just talking about surgery. Oh. elective or non-elective that you must be in shape for surgery and you forget guys even being in shape let's say you are in shape going it's into dangerous. surgery is always it's a risk it's always a risk anyways sending prayers to my 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 bff oh, tara you tara. guys have met tara tara so tara and i We're went to about college you. together um we lived together in my condo this is when i was in the army yes yeah, I started college when I was, how old was I? 18? 19? Yep, that's And right. I met her like the first year of college and we joined the same sorority and then we ended up moving in together and... She's a saggy too. She's a saggy so and... She's vanilla Edwina. Yeah. Or tame. She's tame vanilla Edwina, but she's still, she's still a lot of fun. Yes. She's great. And her, one of her daughters is my goddaughter. Um, Alexis and and one of her daughters was in the runway show McKenna McKenna was in the runway show with the scarf wrapped around her as a top that's McKenna yeah, she has beautiful daughters and then um, a son oh, Zevi's Col obsessed with them Colton and, so um, cute her, her children are gorgeous anyway yeah. our heart goes out to you Tara if you're ever watching this in the hospital and we're just I'm just I'm just t upside down today which is also probably why I feel a little I just we were just saying like oh and then I had a client whose um, employee got in a car accident that morning coming to work and passed away. Oh, you would tell me about that. And I'm just... I felt sick. I don't even know who this person is and I'm like sick. Like sick. Because imagine just either one of us just going to work. It's like the first thing I thought about. Like the first thing I thought about was like, oh my God, what if like at any moment, like right, you just get a phone call and you're like, hey, I'm so sorry, but... Because it can happen I and mean, we're all driving, we're all doing things. And it's just so important to say I love you. Be sure to call. This it's just turned into a very sad video. And you guys do not drive distracted. Yes. Oh, I don't did, do that anymore. Did you see the text I sent you? No. 
I saw Adam turn the corner looking down and he turned, he made a full turn looking down and drove. He never looked up. I was like, how did he do that? You should send him a message. I've said it before. I, I was, but he was on his phone. What upsets me I didn't want to distract him with a distraction. Listen, do that when you're by yourself, but it like if Zevi's in the car or you know, like you can you can hurt somebody, you can you can hurt yourself. It's just a bad habit. It took me a long time. Like if something's urgent, I might do it at a yes, red light. Me too. I might. But me I too. When I'm stopped sometimes if I see like the other problem too is like Adam is usually the one. I'll see him call like four times. Right. Like, can you answer the phone? And I'm like, I'm driving. And luckily, like in our cars, we can just yeah. fit our little thing of and it's, it's fine. We can do, you know, and that's not as distracting. But like the texting, like messaging, you know, there'll be times back in the day when I was like, just, you know, when cell phones weren't not illegal. Remember, cell phones were just... You know, in the last decade, and, and it used to be only a few people had cell phones. Now everybody, right. they mama. I mean, you'd be at the bus stop. I don't care if you got a car or not. You got a cell phone. But when I look around now, when I'm driving, almost like I want to say like 80 percent of people are looking down, or like are like this. It's too easy for the cops. I'm like, how are the cops? I know. They, all I gotta do is look around for five seconds. You you have tickets like crazy. And I still, you know, I purposely don't have one of those things in my car where you can like put your phone. I purposely don't have one because I feel like if I did, it'd make it even more accessible for me to be like, duh, 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 you know. And, and people are gonna jump in your car and be like, um, I'm Sarah. Please take me too. <laughs> exactly. Um, like, are you an Uber <laughs> driver? So, anyways, I'm. I yes, I've been very good about it, and I've been proud of myself because. Me too. I have to. It's. It, you have to detox off of it. You're not gonna miss anything. You don't have to respond back K to a message. Let them wait. Like, have you ever seen those signs? Like, do you want your last memory to be like, yes, I'm on my way? Right. Like, just show up. And so, anyways, the other thing too is some people will say, well, I'm really good at it. Like Adam will say, like, I'm good at multitasking like that. And and then I said, well, you know what? You are. You're really good. But you know what? You're gonna maybe run into somebody that's not a good driver and that's gonna cut you off or do something stupid. Yeah, the thing is he's not defensive driving. Right. He's good at multitasking, using his knee, eating, texting, but he's not prepared for the Somebody the, who the, doesn't the, know how to drive. Show. Yeah. Yeah, you have to defensively drive. Anyway, we sound like parents. We do, and let's we, start this video. With our song. <laughs> okay. Okay. Twizzy talk. We're here to talk about Twizzy talk. We're two old ladies. For doing this. I mean, oh my God, we're exactly here for listening. like an after school special. And if I special, see one more comment that says, why are you shopping? Then I'm going to be like, it's called Twizzy. Sorry for those uh, important messages. <laughs> Brought to you by. <laughs> I feel like we just turned into two old ladies. We're like, let's let's help our young viewers here get together. <laughs> Welcome to our channel. Basically, we were we were having a conversation, and we're like, we might as well just hit record and continue the conversation. But we're really trying to be safer, be better, yes, help others, and just remember to be in the moment. Say your I love yous, call your mom, call your dad, call your friend, and um, just get your che get your uh, your checkups. Get your checkups. Get your checkups. Um, coming from a broker, your annual physical, all your preventative is covered at a hundred percent. Yes, no copay <laughs> for those visits unless you want to talk about your high school injury. Yeah, and, and, and all don't other say of stuff. like this hurts. Can you check it? Uh uh, that's a new visit. That's a new visit. That's a copay. That's wrong right don't do it don't do it go for your free visit say i'm here yeah. for my annual give me just my annual regular yes. visit yes anyway anyways yeah well, so let's clock out we'll clock out of work <laughs> um <laughs> i was laughing because yesterday we were in the car before we went into the storage unit which by the way we're vlogging so we're gonna post some vlogs up um, but um we did not record in the storage unit i was unit. laughing because you and i keep going back and forth like you took the sd card i was like i did not take the sd card for for that twinsy talk you're like yes you did I did, but that's not the Twinsy talk I was talking about. That's the only one we did. Exactly. I didn't know that we didn't film another Twinsy talk. Yeah, that's what so I'm talking about. But you're like, yeah, you did. What's funny is you didn't even mention, uh, yeah, you did. You edited it and you posted it. Yeah, and brought the card back. Correct, but we were talking about a Twinsy talk that was just supposed to go on today. <laughs> oh, no, I was talking about continuing from the last one. So you... We were talking about, hey, I need it so I can edit for tomorrow. Oh, they and you're like, but you already did it. And I was like, no, I didn't. We don't have one for oh, tomorrow. That conversation. Oh, yeah, we didn't do it yet. There was no Twinsy talk. I went to the SD card. I'm like, yeah, we didn't film anything. No, I was just thinking about that was the last time you had it. That one. Right. 
But anyway, we're anyway, back. So we were both right. I'll right. just have you know. We were. We were. <laughs> we were on top of it. So on top of it that we have no other video but this one. Okay? So anyways, I was going to say, Sammy, I spoke to Sammy this morning about our videos for Beacons. Um, I was really calling her because of next month and traveling. But it, then we talked about the Beacons videos. And um, I'm going to try to do the Natalie video. I'm letting you guys in on a little TA uh, business. So we did a special episode at Beacons where yes. we each had a camera. We'll leave it at that. Yeah, so it'll be a really fun episode that you guys will get to watch part of it on our channel and part of it on Sammy's channel. So make sure you go to check out her channel and we'll leave that down below, but Sammy D Vintage. And um, so anyways, he has jungle fever. I love him. He's, I have the best neighbors, you guys. I'm gonna really miss the neighbors. But anyway, so I was talking and, to her and about me. the- And you, but I'm gonna see you. I'm not gonna see him. He said, we're not gonna be in the car twins. He talked to my neighbor. <laughs> anyways, so Before I forget idea? my train of thought, what's the idea? Lady. What's the idea? So, um, so the Natalie videos. We have another video coming where um, we went to a showroom. Her name is Natalie. She's a stylist. She just had her baby. Congratulations, oh, she did. Natalie! Yes. Oh, congrats! Um, and her room is incredible because it's all the pieces that she's collected over time around the world. It's designer pieces. It's just vintage Levi's. We went to a stylist house. It, it was like her, and, yes, and we had free reign. So we, and we have that uh, video. I'm editing it right now. I apologize in advance. Is it I dark? was a complete disaster. I was watching me. I was really out of it. Remember, you the, guys were talking, and I was like this. Well, first of all, um, there was a lot of unplanned plans that were brought up. Yes, the surprise to me, and I had gave you that Benadryl. No, it, I was a mess. I could tell. I could see it in my eyes. Well, you need you, you would you would go sit down and drink some water. You and I was like tired. getting things slow. Like Sammy's like, yeah, we're here to style Edwina, and I was like. Am I not shopping? Well, like it was just so funny. You guys will love it. I don't even have to go into it further. But I was Shayna's nurse and I gave her <laughs> Benadryl for what I diagnosed as hives. Shayna was like weekend at Bernie's in the Uber like half day. I was dead. I don't you, take anything. So this knocked me out. It's a sleepy time. It's well, a sleepy time. Anyways, but you, you hung in there. The video is different because we're in this place. We also got really excited and then we were running out of time. I had to, I had to get uh, on the, a plane. Shayna was staying a couple days later, but I had to leave that day right after. Yeah, so, it was so stressful. you'll see that try on. You'll see it. Um, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. We're trying to um, just have fun with all our videos again. And um, so that's coming. And then I was going to show you. So the Salvation Army, uh, Sammy posted on Instagram so go check her out you guys on Instagram she um vintage boss babes of course tell her we said hi if you go check her out go to vintage hi. boss babes and um he, she's she's reels obsessed like she's making really great reels um because that's all anybody's doing anyway she made a really cute reel of us <laughs> I don't remember that. And then I'm about to get busted in. She's been busted. Yeah. Yeah, there's actually talking girls. Yeah. There's a car. Yeah, there's a canary. Oh, yeah, there's Sammy's so good at this. Oh, I forgot everything in New York already. So we were at Salvation Army and we didn't film, but Sammy did with her phone. Oh. <laughs> members locked up. So the group is not as locked up. Oh, we should have worn that today for <laughs> next Wednesday talk, Shayna. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what did she get that? Oh my god, I'm gonna wear that on Monday. That red dress. We were a mess. <laughs> it's so weird seeing ourselves shot from another point of view. Like that was like a real first look. And it's just really weird. The we're best was mess. the very beginning. You you were like, oh, there's a shopping cart. I'm like, oh my god, a yellow pants! And I like ran to the. I mean, we. It was really fun to watch it. Anyway, so go check that, it out. Check out cute. her Instagram. She posts a lot of fun reels and things like that. That's cute. Uh, what else? What else was I gonna say? Um, uh, we were hyping you up on the Barbie launch, so we may make some changes on that. Okay, you guys, I was. I had a vision today while I was at work, and I was like this at the computer. We knew, we knew the timing wasn't right. We knew. Well, I wanted to do it like three weeks ago, but well, of course. That, that never happened. So I think, I think the issue is, is that we see things that we get really excited about. And then unfortunately, it's, like it's our, only up, up to us to do it. Yeah. And our timing is just not there. So here's the thing. Yeah. Everybody's doing the Barbie launch. 
we're not going to do the Barbie launch. <laughs> but we could have a little Barbie section. Yes, yeah, so what we were thinking yeah. was is um, we're going to focus on some really fun summer vintage 80s inspired pieces that um, that it's not Barbie. We're doing the Barbie's Friends launch. Like, you know all of Barbie's friends? Like, they're like all cultural and different. Yeah. Like, let everybody do the Barbie launch. We're gonna do all her best friends launch. <gasps> Barbie's best friends? The United Nations? <laughs> the United Nations edition? The Made des Amis uh, du Barbie? Du Barbie? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <to make> rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> well, long story short, we're gonna come up with a new launch because this movie comes out tomorrow. Yeah. It just doesn't make sense. What I was watching and like, we don't have any pieces that we really feel are like for Barbie, but we have everything for her friends. Well, what we have is the Barbie wardrobe of clothes. You know how you right. buy all the clothes? Yes. And like you look in Barbie's closet, we have Barbie's whole closet, but we don't have like the stereotypical exactly like Barbie. It's what we pink, see. Lots of pink. But everything we chose is Barbie-esque. It's Barbie-esque. It's just now so literal like what people right. want so it's definitely you know? gonna be more focused on like an 80s um launch summer so if you could please in this video because we're going to come back and check it leave down below some of the things that you would like to see and some of the sizes that you're expecting yes and if you have sh if you want shoes put your shoe size yes if you're looking for dresses put your dress size blazers put your dress uh, everything size 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 okay yeah so and it's not going to be like a really big launch this will probably be a smaller launch for us um but yeah so just let us know on that oh and then i did post everywhere that we're doing a q a so i have lots of questions for us okay i just went to the last video i was looking at oh, that so i got i got actually new questions for us well let me just shout out some people who commented stacy thank you for your emails and guidance i'm gonna try to get together with you on the call um gina oh gina knows what's up i was I know. talking to gina gina dr mindy you guys, we're Gina, a TA member. She's uh, into changing her life and getting healthy, and we both are watching Dr. Mindy. So check out Dr. Mindy on uh, YouTube. And Stacy, on sending love, Shana, for your IBS journey. Yes, thank you guys so much for the love on the video. I know I'm being very vague, but I really just don't want to start crying in like a full video because this is not this is was is not the place. Like, I just I just thank you guys. You guys have been sending me DMs and all the love. Don't worry. I'm on a new path, we're gonna try again, and I have a few other things that I'm gonna do, and I'm maybe I'll share if you guys have, have maybe done this, because I've never done this before. Like, we're gonna do like a mock ERA, you guys will know what I'm talking about if you're doing this, and I'm gonna call an immunologist for fertility, just to see about that. That guy was going really fast. Really, really um, fast. So, but yeah, thank you guys. I, I do see all the messages, and I appreciate it. She said, looking good, gr looking great, Amina. Thank you, I hope the finger's okay. I guess oh, it's better? better. I mean, I feel like it's swollen at the, the like I feel like I have arthritis. It is, it is it's swollen, swollen I can still tell. at the, But now you have the, the pinkies like me, crooked. Look, should I go to ER? I would I I told you I would have checked it out. I, I broke my finger and I chipped a piece. They had to go in and and, and cuz I feel like we have very small the bones are I tender know. and they're not, I feel like they're going to have to re-break it. Well, cuz if it's if the piece is is floating the medic Anyways. in me says, I'm going to give it another week of Tylenol. We'll see. It's a Robitussin. Yeah. Okay. All okay, right. So can I? Um, and, and hi, Lupita. Hi, Noble Strength. Hi, Marisa. Yes, Noble Strength. I'm working on something really special for you if you're watching. One, one thing we should address here. Someone said, this must be a new member. I don't enjoy these chat videos. Hmm. Tell me more. I like the original start of your channel. I'm glad you're growing and changing, but this type of person who you start your video blogs is shopping, thrifting, try on, stay that way. All the people on YouTube are switching over to more talking, and that's a huge no for me. Okay. It's just a segment. See you on Friday. <laughs> Thursdays is Twinsy Talk where we talk. I feel like we have to address this every episode. This is the we talk don't have episode. To. We just don't have to address it at all. I think what it is is that they think any video that comes up is a shopping video. Yeah. And well, then, that's a problem. But it's not ours. <laughs> well, she obviously doesn't want to get to know us. She just wants to see us uh, be hoarders I, and go crazy. Um, I'm really in my zen um, mode now, and um, I don't care. So the, the beauty of um, America, well, at least part of America, because we're losing some of our rights. Um, but the beauty of America, without getting political, is that um, we have freedom to kind of do whatever we want. So if you don't like something on something, then 
you can go to something else. Yep. And that's it. Uh, if you don't like, you know, a video on a certain day, you turn it off. I don't know. I, I don't know how else to address it other than I'm so glad that people love our shopping videos, and so do we. So we'll continue to do them on a different day. We'll get back to it. Right now, Shane is moving. Um, oh yeah, so can we get to the questions? Yes, yes. A lot of questions. Okay, someone said Toes Anonymous, so that must be talking about our OnlyFans for our feet. Oh, that's a good one. And lastly, I hi, like them. hi Fabiola. Hope hi, you're doing Fabiola. well today. Yes, I hope you're feeling well. How are you? We haven't heard from you in some time. Yes. Okay. okay. We said so, hi to all the, the OGs. Thank you all. I screenshotted you guys. You. I'm going to start doing that because it's kind of fun. We don't get like, you know how like um, some YouTubers like, everyone's asking. Like no one's asking. We got like five people that left comments. Just but, enough. But I, the five people we love and know. Oh, they're our and favorites. That's all, and that's all that matters. They're our favorites. Yes. We do have a favorite TA list. Are you on it? <laughs> so Mama Lou 65 said, you two ladies have been friends for a really long time. Has there ever been a period where you were in a fight and didn't talk to each other? Dun, dun, dun. Okay. If I can remember a gap of time that I didn't talk to you, it wasn't because of a fight. Yeah, because I was, was going to say. I was personally going through a rough time. Uh, at this time, I think you were at the peak of your career in insurance. And me, what I was this? still finding my way. Remember how we started Thrift is Anonymous and I kind of like left her for oh, a little bit? Oh, yeah, you uh, I kinda ghosted just, me. I what just, do they call it? That's ghost. Ghosted? Yeah, I kind of just like went away. It wasn't mean or anything. It was just like, again, I didn't see the big picture. I thought I was helping you. I know, and everybody cussed me out yeah, online. I was like, They're like, I don't know why Shana's so focused on her fitness career. We want to see her thrift. I was Again, like, well, I'm focused because... The same thing as a Twinsy Talk problem. Like, you went to fitness. Yes, yeah. So, I went through a rough patch of just, like, figuring out life. And times were hard. I wasn't making a lot of money. I didn't have a career. I was trying to figure stuff out. And that's when you got me to work with you after. And then we reconvened. Oh, that's right. Because you were working that job. You had to wake up at, like, 3 in the morning or Yeah, something. I was, like, delivering sourdough bread. bread. Yeah, I remember. And I was giving away everybody's bread. I was bread. like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Yeah, I was I was <laughs> uh -uh. in my I was in my masculine for sure. So we we've had some arguments, but nothing to like no, we've break. Never the, been in a fight. Nothing to break the. She friendship says fight, or and like right when she said that, I was like, okay, I've Ooh, never been in no, a fight with not, her. Not fight. Like where? Because I I can recall there's certain friends where I have been in a fight and we did not talk for a while. Like I that you know I can answer yes to some of those, but like no. Even the people I didn't like, I didn't want to fight. Because I know what fighting is, and that's a I've whole other level. You know who it was, and I had to shut it down. <laughs> yeah, that was a fight. I had to guide you. It was a it was a mature fight. It was a mature fight. It was a mature fight. The only fight I've ever been um, where I actually pulled a girl's earrings out of her mm -hmm. ear um, was in junior high because um, she made my life miserable. I was bullied really bad, and um, she scared me and went after me and like went like like went to and then just shoved me. And I like my hands were like this, and I, I didn't really pull her earrings down. That's, the, <laughs> I wish I was. I wish I was that. Is, is that your embellish? Is that your embellish? I embellished story? it. I embellished it. What I really did was I stumbled backwards and and like accidentally like went like this as I was stumbling. So you hit her on the way down, kind of. <laughs> T Rex. Ah! I don't fight. My I first hit. I don't do anything. How about my first fight was with a dude. I actually fought a guy, lost, obviously. His name was Chauncey. I had a crush on him, and I realized that he did my neighbor in the laundry room. This is the apartments where they had the laundry room, like, by the pool. Anyway, I said something to him, and he had a snappy remark. Like, it was so good. I got angry, like a snap. Oh, no. And then I went, like, to windmill scratch, and he went, bop. Oh, and, and it was like a, a softball came and hit my face. My whole face was numb. This is like 15. I was like, oh my God. And I went to windmill him again. Wild, crazy. It didn't work. Bop. Like punch. I've got, you know, you're 15. I, I was 15. I was in a fight with a, a boy. Well, I, how old are you when you're in fifth grade? I was in like, fifth grade. Oh, like uh, 11. And he, bu he was bullying me. He thought I was making fun of him, but I wasn't. I think he thought... I. I think he had me mistaken with somebody else because I literally was like, what are you talking about? And he goes, I know karate. And he like kicked me. No, he did. That's he what like everybody's kicked watching me in my, in my... That's when the Bruce Lee movies my would girl, play like every girl weekend, parts. black and white. I remember white. I went to the Dean. I was crying. You just reminded me. Yeah, I had a really, really horrible elementary and junior high experience. So I could, we could go all day. Let's go to a better... I, actually, it's bringing up really bad memories. So long story short, <laughs> no, we haven't had a big no. fight. And do we disagree? Yes. Do we talk it out? Yes. Like, it's cool. You guys, this is over 30 years of friendship, so 
the nonsense we're, we agree to disagree even whatever you guys think is going on you're wrong we're fine <laughs> it's true okay <laughs> even like yesterday i wish you guys saw the the conversation about the sd card we were both right and at the end of the day we didn't have a video for today yeah all i thought about yeah, was the video us filming the right video. there yeah the, but we already did it it was last week i know that's it had already been a week and we both forgot i know that's the I sad know. part, like I our know. memory. Anyways, okay. Okay, more questions. Who was that from, by the way? We didn't shout out the name. I did. Oh, Mama did? Lou 65. Oh, Mama Lou. Thank you, Mama Lou. Good question. Okay, Sin5982. Shayna, how has motherhood changed you? Have you become a worrier? I've heard that motherhood brings a lot of worries and concerns for your child for the rest of your life, so please elaborate. Um... I am a worrier by nature. Yeah, I was gonna say, you're, you, she's so, a worrier in general. I'll tell you something. Ever since I've had Zev, I think I'm less of a worrier. If that makes any sense. Like, I don't feel like I worry. Maybe I worry about different things. Because I used to worry a lot about things that got me nowhere. Like, and I feel like now it's more like actual concern rather than like worrying. Like, I don't feel like I'm like worrying constantly. Like, I'm not worried right now. I wasn't worried when I dropped him off at camp. I just get like concerned but it's not a I don't feel worried maybe I will well from an outsider looking in you're better I feel like I am because before Zuki oh, you, I was you, a mess. you were a hypochondriac total hypochondriac and like all kind of weird stuff like like things would like you, you you'd be so passionate about everything like everything which is very intense emotion because mm -hmm. you're just you're just connected emotionally to everything your work your are true your, 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 like the way your I handle tab. stress so much better oh yeah both of us, the way we're able to like let go of work. Do you think it's age though too? Like as we've gotten older, you we, just, you you care less. I don't even think it's that. I think we realize what's really important. Ah, yes. And then we <laughs> learn that that bullshit is just a waste of time and it's energy true. and we're gonna feel better anyway, so we might as well just feel better quickly. I like, thought I was gonna, it was gonna be hard for me. Now what is hard is when you're with your partner and they do something that like you wouldn't do and so that sometimes will stress me out. Like. Like Adam will go to our new house and he's in the backyard and there's like holes in the ground and like wires sticking out and he puts his gloves on Zevin and he's like, hey, come on, let's go to the backyard. And I'm like, oh my God, he's gonna die in the backyard. What you're seeing is what's done when you're not there. Right. So if you weren't there, he would go about his day, everything was fine. But it's the same when I had Labradors. You know, if, you're, if you need to, if you wanna have children but you're scared, just get Labradors, specifically Labradors, because they're like children. And I, I used to make Adam go walk them, because when I would go, I, I was, I was a mess. I, I would, Sophie, 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 oh, Samson, Sophie, Samson. I'm like, I was oh a my disaster. God. When you went on vacation, and I would watch them. I tried to walk them both. I couldn't. I had to take one inside. <laughs> I had to go walk one and then come back and switch the other. They was it was too much. Oh, they loved you. It was too much. They I gave really them so much treats. They threw up everywhere. They dookied everywhere. They and, were so happy. And we gave them so many treats that they like just got <laughs> sick. No, but it's true. So, anyways, that yes. I used to get so worried. So I guess it's really just seeing how other people do things. Yeah. And you're like, how dare you do that in front of me? Do something different. Yeah. Maybe so then Adam's like, do you want to go with me? I'm like, nope. You go. You go walk the dogs, and I'll do the walking on my own time because me with you he lets them like roam and go crazy and it just I can't speaking of dogs I'm gonna need your help I told you I think I'm gonna have to get a dog for Trey and I think like getting one is getting one stupid or it has to be two like you got two it doesn't have to be two but having two is like I always thought it was better for them but yes but then yes. again that's if you're not home. Trey's home. A lot, yeah. So, so th that's a difference. For me, it was like, we're gone all day working. So they wouldn't be lonely. They'd be lonely. And like, so what am I gonna do? Leave Samson by himself? Can you imagine if he didn't have Sophie? And when he didn't, you saw him, he's, he's he didn't get up. He didn't, I know. you know, and they I say know. like, he just, he was, he turned into a senior citizen for real. The minute Sophie passed away, he like turned into a senior citizen. And like I said, he was only doing well because you were around. It's and the once, only and, reason. And then once you went on vacation, he's like, oh, she's not here. It's like you gave him life. Listen, you gave him life. Pets are part of your family. They're 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 living beings. If they people are. talk about them like they're. Why are you so upset about your dog? Some people are more upset about their animals than they are a human. Which is a whole another conversation there's, of there's humanity. A really good, there's a really good TED talk on it. Were we talking about this the other day? Yeah. We we, we need to bring that up, but. 
anyway, I didn't know. I'm excited for. We for never you. had. Neither one of us never had a dog for reals, for reals, and then get two at once. Is that like? <gasps> yes, it is. Dun, dun, dun. It is. And you, of all people will lose your effing mind. Oh, I already know it's gonna be a problem. You have to be very careful too, because remember you, you have a place that you're, you don't own. Oh, Tara's calling me. Okay, hold on. Pause. All right, so we was getting an animal, and <laughs> I just had a very, very good talk with Tara. Her mom is okay, they're just, they're keeping her stable, and I'm just, we're just talking about life and how. Life is too short. Everything that you're thinking about doing, do it. And don't wait until you get to that point uh -uh. to enjoy something mm -mm. because we just may never get there. My mom, I always use that example because they used to make fun of us because we had an RV growing up. And they're like, how old are your parents? And I'm like, they're not old. They were like 35, which is younger than we are right now. And, and they're like, don't you get RVs when you retire? And my mom always says, well, what if I don't get to retire? It's true. And she didn't. And thank God we had an RV and we enjoyed it. So don't think that there's an age attached to something. If you want it, do it. Yes, because the worst thing in life is regret. Not trying it. Not trying regret it. Regret not trying it. Like it's better to fail. It's life. better to fail. Yes, because you're like, I did it, I tried it, then you're done that, cross off your list. It's better to fail. But the shoulda, coulda, woulda is like, that's like our kryptonite. Like we don't want to shoulda, coulda, woulda anything. And I was feeling that in my 30s. I remember Ooh, I turned when like, I turned 30. When it was I turned a disaster. 30, I was like, well, actually, when my mom passed away, that's when I decided. But and, I, and at that point, I was kind of old for all the things I wanted to do. But guess what? I wasn't because I did, did it. You did all that shit. You did your competing, your modeling. You did all that. Your acting. You were in the movie. Yeah. You did and everything. let me just tell you, okay? I was not successful at all of it. Like my first bikini show. I came in second, second to last. Okay? I wasn't last. But that's second, though. But I was second to last. <laughs> that's how you look at life. But you know what? And I was reminded, I remember it was the coach that was there, the lady who is, a, she's a judge. She goes, nobody knows your story. Nobody knows your journey. Nobody knows where you've been. Nobody knows where you're going. All they know is that you did it. And there were only a certain amount of people that did it and everybody else who didn't. So it doesn't matter if you were last. Or you, yeah. about, I'm clearly not gonna be an IVB pro, but I did do it. Yes, and I have lived and done so much, and there's no regrets. There's no regrets. The regrets are just getting to the things I haven't gotten to yet. Yes, we can't move fast enough. No, we have personal goals. <laughs> we have tired. we have company goals. We have family goals. <laughs> I'm tired. I know. Oh, so, anyways, um, worry, and then there was a part of the question for you. Let me get to it. Um, so, yes, uh, I guess I've been better at worrying. Thank you, Edwina, for confirming. Better. Um, better. Yep. Edwina, I'm apologizing in advance. Oh. <laughs> That's never a good start. Hold on. Dum dum dum. I am apologizing. You, you look like a man. That, that's usually that's usually the worst. <laughs> no. You a man or no? In that the question? That was like six years ago. Okay. Ugh. Nobody thinks we're men anymore. Thank God. Um, and I'm apologizing in advance if this is too personal. But how do you feel about not having children? I don't have children myself, and I always go back and forth between wanting them and then also questioning motherhood. Can you please share your thoughts? But only if you feel comfortable. Once again. I love you guys. There's like something in the Ooh, way of my... That's, that's a really interesting question. Yeah, I can share. It's not um, too bad. I love you both so much and you both are such an inspiration to many. Thank you so much, Sim. I might have mentioned this in another Twinsy talk, so I'll go over it again. Um, I knew young that I wasn't going to have kids. Like in my brain. I knew at 12, 15, 18, and it could have been the selfish part of me, of my sign, Saggies, we do have a selfishness, you know? So I could have been like in my sign, but I knew I, I didn't want to. And the reasons why I didn't like be bold about it is because I felt the pressures of everybody telling me I needed to. My mom wants grandbabies, she wants something to do, she wants a new baby, she, she neither my brother or I have children. He's 37, I'm 44, and we haven't had children, neither one of us, which is odd. I just thought about that. Not, even, not he, even him. He could have a baby when he's 80. That's true. That's he the only can. difference. That's, <laughs> right. But for her to Hate enjoy men. it. But for her to enjoy it. <laughs> right. That, yes. that thing. But I never wanted it. And I felt like half my life I was trying to explain to people without really telling them I didn't want it. Like, I'm like, oh, maybe if it happens. You know, we're, we're sloppy. We're messy. You know, I just let him do it where Trey, he wants to go. Did Trey know that? Um, I told Trey, but I think Trey thought he was going to, he, oh. Trey been trying to trap me for 17 years. He's been trying to spray up the club and the club's been closed. 
So even even me being reckless, I didn't get pregnant because I think my brain controlled my body. I feel like it's that strong sometimes. Well, sometimes, and you also have a fibroid. Well, I do, but that could potentially be true. Blocking it. That could be, but like I said, I've been reckless, and plenty of women have had babies on with the fibroid. But this could be a reason why. Who knows? You'll never know because I was I married never for tried. years and I didn't get pregnant and we did not use protection. So I thought, oh, I can't get pregnant. But I never tried to get pregnant and I know during ovulation, I never want to have sex during ovulation because it's painful. Like I feel like I'm on my period. It is painful. So because of that, I already closed that window down. Like I just wouldn't do it during ovulation because I just felt well, like I was like, that's the only window. <laughs> right. So just with that alone saved me. But thinking about it now the only thing that's uh i think about is like damn i don't have a legacy that's it i just don't have a legacy but as far as my regular day life and hearing everybody talk about how you know crazy and the, the family life and all that stuff that stuff does not bother me i'm like mm, bye see you later you know so it did take a time it did take time for me to get here i had to mourn even my own decision that even though i didn't want to have kids I couldn't even if I wanted to because if I, I can't start now I mean I could but I'm not going down that it's like factories closed clubs closed I've had plenty of fun I've been reckless and it didn't happen so I'm okay with it and you will be okay with it too if you really don't want to have kids you're gonna be okay it's really dealing with others you it's true you have to make the decision because remember uh, you and Adam married for quite some time no kids everybody's like when are you gonna have kids when are you go that pressure that talk. it was a lot of pressure when, yes. after my mom passed away that changed the trajectory of what I wanted or what I saw as my future because I was like I was angry well my dad passed at 12 so I wasn't even thinking about that you know it just you know it was right after we got married so but I you was were thinking we get married and have a baby right and instead I'm like mourning the loss of my mom right and I spent two years that I, I don't remember what I did in those two years I know I got a master's but couldn't tell you couldn't tell you anything about those two years what me and Adam did I have no recollection of those two years but yeah I've always wanted to be the cool auntie like you young, are you and, are the cool and I'm the cool auntie you know I'm gonna come in with my heels Zev loves I'm, you. I'm gonna you now. know leave early drink <laughs> not do anything don't have to worry I'm spontaneous no <laughs> plans I have the tour on you oh my god when Zevi was like he was like one and a half two okay he wasn't even like speaking in full sentences I would come to the door he'd open the door Weena! Ah, slam it because he and knew then go we're, running. Because we were gonna work. We were gonna work and ignore him. So but now he loves Edwina. And as a matter of fact, there have been several occasions when you and I have to go meet at Black Raven Films to do our work and he's crying, screaming, coming outside because he wants to come with us. I'll help you. Just recently he said, I'll I'll help you with shoes. I think he thinks all <laughs> we because he knows we have so many clothes and he helps me, he's helping me back. He's like, I'll help you, I'll fold clothes. He's so he's so grown now, but he sees that uh my, his mom and I have fun and he yes. he has FOMO. He's like, I wanna have fun with you guys because we get in our own little world and we're laughing, talking, and he likes that energy. Well, you you are an amazing auntie. I just, I'm gonna start bringing him candy again. I, I was following the rules for a little bit, but I now break I'm, those I'm, rules. I'm about to break it. But long story short, I don't have any regrets. I just wish I took a stance and got this fibroid out oh, earlier. I, too. I left it in thinking that- It would go away. <laughs> that too, it would disappear or shrink or something. Um, but I left it in because in case I needed a hysterectomy or something, there's a chance for me to get pregnant. That's true, yeah. I've but stopped. otherwise I would have already done it. Um, so hopefully I don't need a full hysterectomy, but no regrets. I'm living life to the fullest. I already got my life planned out for greatness. I just don't have a legacy. You do have a legacy. We've created one. It's our baby. No, but when I go, who is it gonna go to is what I mean that legacy <laughs> oh so i have to give it to like a family member who don't deserve it zevi's gonna be the legacy he's gonna start a the soul he's gonna be the soul the soul legacy and guess what the um, soul survivor. just the other day he told me to subscribe to his channel oh he did subscribe subscribe <laughs> to his channel because i have because, a channel. because i have a channel <laughs> he did it he was in the bathroom he told me to subscribe to his channel i was like you did not just say that He's watching too much YouTube. I need to stop it now. But yeah, with my current life set up and how things are running and what I'm dealing with with Trey and stuff, like, I, this is enough. I think a puppy would make a perfect addition. I think so. And I really a need new one. Fur baby. And I'm not getting one right now, so I really need a puppy. I, I, I had a dream you got one for the new house already. I already see it happening. I, we, I, we really want, I mean, 
It'd Let be, me rephrase that. I really want, Adam wants nothing to do with it's it. It's gonna be Zuki's best friend. It's gonna take him to high school. It's gonna take him to high school. Guess what Zev asked for? Like a turtle or something? Another cat. Oh God. This Adam, Adam doesn't want any, as a matter of fact, he doesn't want Oscar. Adam doesn't like cats. I didn't like cats either, but I love animals, so I'll take any. We did have a chicken for a little bit, but she's gone. So, um, but yes, I think a little puppy. I'd love to be part of that. Can I be the um, godmother? Yes, you can. We'll do a whole ceremony. <gasps> really? But long story short, with Trey, I know Trey wanted to squat a kids, but he already has a child before me so that's the only saving that's a whole grace story. but you just keep it but you just keep adding more I know, information but, but he really wanted to start over because that was a whole debacle we'll leave it at that but I, I i wasn't able to give him the start over i never desired it there are many things you've given him it's true and so i think with motherhood the first and foremost is not to be scared because there's nothing to be scared about um but if you have even a point 99 percent What's the lowest percent? That's not even the lowest. Point zero 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 one percent. Yeah, if you have an inkling of doing like it, do any it. Any percentage. Do it. Do it. Do it. I didn't have that inkling. Because if you if you don't, then it's easy. You'll look back and say, I'm okay. But if you look back and you're like, because that's how I was feeling. And at 38, I got pregnant because I was like, oh my god, I have a percentage. There's a little percentage there. I don't want to feel that. This feels horrible. Like that regret feeling is the worst feeling you'll ever have. And you know, but you know another thing I thought of to keep it real, real is that I knew when I, if I had a baby, I probably wouldn't want to work anymore. And I'm not in a position to like not work. You see what I'm saying? Listen, everybody's and, in a different predicament. And, and I knew that I was gonna have to work my entire pregnancy, have the baby, you jump like right me? back to work. You mean like me? <laughs> right, and like I knew that I was gonna turn into one of those women who didn't want to do that. I know me. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna give this baby everything. I'm gonna stay home. And I knew I wasn't gonna have that luxury. So because I couldn't even have it how I wanted to do it, that's how selfish I am. You I know, said no. My blog to be real. Anonymous uh, saved me in that regard because it does make all of these other things more fun. That's why it's really hard to see those comments where people don't want to watch us or because we truly enjoy it. And when you guys stop enjoying it, then we're not enjoying it anymore. So then it makes me scared or sad because. And we have to switch it up too because as much as we love thrifting, we can't go there for four hours, no, we can't. five hours to do these videos. We have to find a way to do it different and still give you what you need. So we're, we're playing around with some things, but we're going to get back in it. Don't worry. This is who I am is what's going to bring us the, the most joy. That's really what it we want to do. It is a labor of love right now. We're working on the production and everything, but it's coming soon. Mm -hmm. um, so anyways. Good question. Really good question. That was just Ooh, one you question. Went, you went deep, girl. I know. Okay, here's another question. This was on Instagram. Um, me try underscore star. Would you guys ever do thrifting episodes with your booze? I don't know if they could hang. <gasps> what a good idea. It is a good idea, but I feel like they could not hang, first of all. We would have to just film going shopping for them on our own, and then we would film the actually styling of them. I think it would be fun to take them to the thrift store. Girl, they ain't going to be there that long. They don't need to be. It would be a very short video, which is exactly what we're trying to move to. It's almost like we need to shop and have them come in when we got all the stuff. Hey, try this on. Try this on. No, it doesn't have to. We don't have to find them 150 pieces of clothing. Oh, we're not going to get them a whole new wardrobe? Like, yeah. I think every time, like, you, you do know that, that you could go there for a t-shirt and a blazer. You guys, we almost buy a new wardrobe every time we yeah, go. Yeah, like, it's not necessary. It's, it's, it's hard We could just to. go like, hey, what are you looking for? Uh, I could use some more t-shirts. Great. Trey, what are you looking for? Uh, I could use another pair of but shoes. But have them there? They, did you hear what they just, the question? For them to be, they, I know, but I'm actually, like, thinking, like, how that would work. For them to be, actually be in there? Would you guys ever do a thrifting episode with your booze? So, yes. I, I, I'm down. Are they down? Adam question. would do it, but it would have to be like a 60 minutes. Not even that's that. That's too long. That's too long. 30 minutes tops. Yeah, like we'd have to have everything. And that ready. includes in and out and check out. Yeah, that's true. 30 minutes. Yeah, they don't have no they don't have the patience for that. Like but Trey. That's okay. Be, that's all we would need. Whenever I go to Savers with Trey, I just got to one section and Trey's done in six minutes. But what I'm trying to say is men don't shop like we do. I they know. go to one section. I know. They're not shopping for plethora. They're shopping because the jeans they have at home have a hole in the crotch and they need a new pair of jeans. We shop because we're like, ooh. 
Mm -hmm. I want to spend a bunch of money because I want to feel good. I bet you. Stuff. Yeah, I can bet you I can wear this dress on vacation the next time we go. Oh, I want to do laundry. No, I want to get new clothes. There is no vacation planned in nope. the near future, but when there is, I will have a dress for it. It feels like we're prepared for the fantasy. Men shop for what they need. I know. We shop for what we, we may want. need. It, or just what we want. Or what we want. It doesn't have to so, make sense. So, I think it would be fun if you think Trey would be up for it. Do you think he would be up for it? He would be up for it. He's just like Adam. Just like, how long is it going to take? What you want to do? What are we doing? What's going on? What's going on? I think <laughs> we should do it. Who thinks we should do a shopping with our boo? <gasps> Aww. It would be really easy. So easy. And so much fun. And Trey needs clothes, too. Adam needs... <laughs> Adam needs clothes. I and he keeps buying things off of... He goes, I got, I got totally hacked. Uh... Uh, somebody, I, I bought this thing off, this shirt off this website, never got it. And then I'll look at where he's shopping, and I'm like, it's not, a, it's not it's even like a spam. Certified, it's it's not like even Instagram a spam. I feel like that's what happened when I bought Zuki that that one car that never oh, came. It was yeah. from a foodie site. And you gotta I, be really careful. And then I looked into it. I barely did any research, and there was a whole slew of everybody saying they got took. I don't do any research. This is the detective here. I will, I will find. I barely find checked, it all. and I'm like, oh. I well, I got know. Adam the blazer that he bought. It came. It was actually pretty nice. It was from China. Um, but it was like 10 sizes too small, you know. Oh, god! So it didn't fit him. But anyway, so that's how he shopped and it's horrible. One time he got these sandals. They're so hideous. They're so hideous. they like for really for Bethlehem? No, like I mean, Bethlehem would have been a, a cooler style. Oh. This is like like old man, like... Like he's song like, sandal that has like orthotic support. Oh, he dated himself. It was, it was bad. He dated himself. Like anyway, so does Adam need to go shopping? Yes, I think I would love to do it because that's a like, really fun episode. Yeah, to like look two, like to. two outfits. Like we give, like we yeah, do two outfits just, on them. Hey, okay. Did you find a shirt? Great. You found a shirt. Great. Let's move to the pants section. Oh, it, uh, oh, maybe uh, like a tw twenty-five dollars under challenge or something for the yes. men. It's really easy. Yes. Okay, we'll figure out something. I think we should do it. I love that idea. We haven't even thought of it, which is really sad. We know why we haven't thought of it it's our getaway it's our escape it's true okay next question is from mindy k i love you mindy k i talked to her a lot on instagram hi mindy mindy underscore k underscore 76 your favorite twinsy outfit you've ever thrifted have we ever thrifted twinsy oh i know which one that i really love and i just found it and i have yours which i don't understand why i have yours but i have both of them okay what do you remember the concrete looking dress you had the pink and I had the blue. Concrete. It was like a SpongeBob SquarePants dress, and if it, it would look like concrete, I don't even remember. It has a collar with buttons at the top, and like some weird like design, like a uh, geometric design. Okay, we should wear it for the and next. And yours Tuesday was talk. pink, and mine was. I just I, packed it up. Oh, you did? I don't even remember it. That's probably one of my favorite. But no, you guys probably don't even remember it. Um, our favorite Twenty Talk. I, no, mean, not I, mean, I mean, thrifted item that's twinsy. Now I can't, I can't think of an actual item, but what I do love was that twinsy shoes that we, we love. Guess what I can remember? Remember the Wanda episodes? Oh, which which he made us the Chio Gasm. Oh yes. Now now that was our favorite twinsy outfit. That that was my favorite. I wore the turquoise, and she had the black. And if you go back and watch that episode, it's a really good episode. Wanda. Um, took um, Chiangasm's like dresses and then we designed our own to kind of upcycle those dresses and we wore them to the runway with um, Leslie for her red carpet premiere. Oh yeah, we did an episode so with good. her. We it dressed so her for the red carpet. That's so, what she meant her husband. Maybe if I find those links, we should um, link them. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But um, that, that was a good question. Is that, that all good. the questions? Okay, I think there's one more. And then we will be done with talking. Let's see. Oh, when are you going on another vacay cruise together? That's a really good question. Well, we should plan one. The problem is we've learned so much from that last cruise that <laughs> the next trip must be extravagant. <laughs> it must cost one million dollars to filter out the riffraff, the scallywags, the ratchetry, the oh my god, why are we here? <laughs> the only thing that saved us was we had a suite. The only thing that saved us was us, okay? <laughs> oh my gosh, it was just too hood. It was so bad that the staff was coming to us delivering strawberries with chocolates. The, the head of the cruise was like, Shannon, we don't, we love you. Yes, because we were one of the few people with class and dignity. <laughs> we just saw you in the audience and you were smiling. Yeah, how did the performers see us in the audience? 
we just saw you clapping and smiling, and you guys just seemed so happy. We were, we're I mean, the show. But we look so much happier because everyone's so angry. Yeah, like so it's, it's, oh, that's why we stood out. That's why we stood that's out. We stood we're out. like this, and everybody else is like this. Stank face, I mean, angry. just angry. And Carnival went to crap. We just didn't know. <laughs> we didn't know. We've gone so many times with our families, and then we're used to our families taking care of everything. Everything feels expensive, right? It's true. And then when we went by ourselves through the same thing, we were like, oh my gosh, never, ever again. Now, Miami, though, I fucking did Wiener for three days. And yeah. then two days, you had a Shana has a master plan I that master plan. when you have when you go on vacation, you need a day before the vacation there, and then you need a day or two after the vacation to recoup. That was brilliant. Well, cause so what it does is it gives you that extra like energy before, and then a little bit of like downtime after. So you're not like thrusted back home, and then yes, like you, you know, come home, you're right to the ship, and then come back home. No, we kicked it. Got ready to get ready. So much fun. We oh went my. to that fly boutique. Oh my god. And we so went thrifting and in Miami. And then we stayed at the best boutique hotels. We if we go, we have to oh, stay there again. Shout out to I'm She Global. That's somebody we need to reach out to. Yes. So it's, she's the one who helped us with shout the cruise. Out to her. Now it's her. it wasn't her fault. She had actually recommended some other cruises. She's like, Are you sure, ladies? <laughs> We're like, that's fine. That's fine. It's affordable. It's fine. We're thrifters. I think because we were at the top of the D list, she was trying to get us on like something else. She's, she was trying to save us. She was trying to save us. She yeah. was trying to save us. But, but but the accommodations, like she put together such an incredible trip for us. And we didn't have to do anything but pay. That was it. That that was nice. So we might need to reach out to her again. I wonder if she's that still- That was a beautiful trip. She's still a travel And, and I'll be honest, so this is the part when you know you stress about like the cost of things and everything. And granted, you have to have the money. Right. But like, do you even remember how much it cost us? It was affordable. Like, I don't even remember. I, all I remember is how amazing of a time I had. We got the drink package, you got the insurance, you got, it wasn't that, it, it was not cheap, but it wasn't expensive either. Yeah, it, it was wasn't. right. It was right in the middle of the road. We went at the right time. We did it in advance. Yes. But we I did have to move the date though, because I was pregnant. Oh yeah, because you, you couldn't fly after a certain time. Yeah. But long story short, Shane and I want to go to New York again. I don't know if it's going to be feasible. Yeah, we would like to do that. But uh, Preferably before Sammy leaves. So she leaves in October. Yeah, she's like moving out of New York and we need to go while she's there. Otherwise, I don't know how we'll go. So she said September is... September what? Is, the, last... the, is the better time if, if oh, you want to go. Oh, oh. Like because if, if I have to go again or like, but to have us there, she said she's uh, more open. And she's moving in October. She's moving in October. Okay, so we'd have to plan that, but we are possibly looking at going again because that was a pretty incredible trip. It was great. Like I said, mainly to Sammy, being able to stay at her place made things very, very easy because staying in New York will take all your coins. All just, your coins. Just the hotel alone. And then we were able to have fun and splurge and do stuff because we didn't have the burden of the hotel bill. Exactly. So like yeah. Sammy's saving us with that. So that'd be nice. Or maybe we could take a weekend trip somewhere. Like maybe we do a thing to Arizona. We could do that too. Like we run away to Arizona or something real quick and come back or go somewhere and do a thrifting extravaganza come back. I would be down for that. Cause that could be the alternative. In case we can't do New York. In case. I'm going to try, though. I'm going to try. Well, I mean, I have to go anyways. I know. So, but it's um, more fun if your nurse comes. It really is. <laughs> so, because you're the one who helped me. Uh, uh, being a medic is coming handy. Okay, this video is officially. It's long, It's huh? almost an hour. Oh, it's shoot. It's almost an okay. hour. Um, let me see if there's any other questions. Oh, there's one more question. And this comes from um, Sherry, Lan, Sherry Lynn Wilson. Love you too. Uh, when are you moving? So much on your plate. So hot in Las Vegas. Drink water. Can't wait for the next video. Jersey girl. Oh, Jersey girl. Oh, hey, Jersey girl. It's 109 degrees right now. Yeah, it's I got, actually really cool. I got the AC today. blowing. I know, right? <laughs> it was 115, you guys, and I have a crack in my windshield, and my windshield. Oh, it's growing. It's gonna cost me like 2,500. What did I say it was? Probably it's like, like 3,000 dollars. Maybe 3,000 dollars. Anyways, so it was this big, <sighs> and then Zevi got in the car and he goes, "Mommy." The crack! <laughs> the Vegas summer. It's like this big now. You could have went to the, got the car wash. I know. With all that. Uh, I know, I know. Oh, the it's Vegas fine. heat. And this one just came in five seconds ago. Oh. Joan James. What type of relationship does Trey and Adam have? Are they besties also? They are not besties. They are not. They are friends because we're friends. Yes. And they were forced to like each other. Forced. But they're both from Alaska. 
and they both work with each other trey worked for adam in the production so they've done a lot of projects together so they have that in common i mean they like each other yeah they have love for each other they and we have a good time together yeah like, we've been to many events um, I'll never forget when we went to that wine tasting. They were smoking cigars. Oh we were my, dancing. In oh the my thing. God, that's an old Remember? school TA video. Yeah, date so night. we've gone to a we different wore. events, different concerts. We've worked. Um, we've worked together. We played together. We've had dinner. We go. To, you know, we've had dinner to each other's. You know, but they just have a different lifestyle too. Like they're just clearly Adam's always on the go on his phone in the car. But when they know? get together, they're cool. Like there's yes. no issue. But are they besties? No. Neither one of them, I think, have a bestie. We are their besties. Yeah, Adam is a little bit of, like, he has really good friends. Yes. Um, Jolana's husband was his bestie. I would say is the closest to his bestie. Well, like, I'm talking about, like... his besties in Alaska. Yeah, like, like the us. They don't have a us here. They don't, yeah. Because they, they lived elsewhere. We've been here in Vegas for so long. You know, we went to school together. But them, they migrated most guys, here. Most guys don't. If they stay in one place, true, true. But they both left yes. areas and moved here. But they are super jealous of our relationship. And they are. They love admiring our closeness, and they and will tell us very quickly when they're in, when we're in a conversation, and it should be referred to the other person. Yes, like go. Ugh. Yeah, they're like right. Oh, yeah, if I yeah, that's to something Tra you need to talk to Edwina about. That's exactly what Trey says. Trey says, "Why don't you talk to Shane about that?" <laughs> but they know that we're married. And they're they're finally okay and comfortable. They know that we're not doing each other. Trey thought we were doing each other. That's how close we were. He, no, that's right. Because he never seen anybody this close. He thought that I was cheating on him with Shane. I'm like, no, we're just friends. He's like, oh, but he was for real. I remember. I remember that. But now he like loves our friendship, and he's like, wow, I never had a friendship like that. He's had close friends and stuff, but not like twinsy talk. So. Oh, um, by the way, Thank shout you, out to James. Tweety Bird Girl 07. Um, she said that she needs to meet us one day. And I said, yes, please. And then she said, come to Virginia to Goodwill Outlet Bins. You guys would have a ball and there's a Goodwill store attached. Oh, my um, God. Look at uh, Nano, Nan, N A N O O S 1986 from Dubai. I wish you guys would come here for the day. Oh, God. That would be a amazing. Sex in the City episode. I know. Without the Sex in the City money. Did you hear about that chocolate woman who got arrested because yes. she was yelling in Dubai? Yes, I saw the video. Don't be the stereotype outside of the United States. They have different <laughs> rules and regulations. Don't do it. Don't be a Karen outside of here. Don't be a Blaren. She was a, a Blaren. Blaren. <laughs> this is what happens when you talk back, ladies. It's you not always good to talk back. Yeah, I know. Car? Spotless. But anyway, let's wrap this up, yo. Let's did wrap she, it up, Did she B. ask a question? Oh. You just said she's from Dubai. And that's oh, it. I, I just saw that. I was trying to wrap it up. I was like, oh, we're going to talk more and more. I know. I feel let's bad, see. though, because we did Vegan ask. Nadia. Hello from Dubai. I wish you guys would come here for the day. I've been watching your videos for years, and I just want to say hi to you both. Also, I can't wait for the international shipping and for the Barbie collection you're working on. Oh, we're going to have a Barbie section. Well, there's a bar. It's still the Barbie collection. It's just not all. The whole launch is not Barbie, but we're going to have a Barbie ma section. I'm managing your expectations is all. <laughs> Yes, because we, we know you guys are not the changing internet. the launch. We got the stuff already. Right, 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 right. I'm just trying to manage the expectations because what I'm seeing it's online as the Barbie collection is not what we're doing. Yeah, it's not going to be everything is Barbie pink, everything. No, right. it's like our interpretation of Barbie and her outfits. It's and, our interpretation. You see how clean, though? I mean, it's spotless. <laughs> it's always spotless. My neighbor is has that the a new, Is that a new car? No. Oh. <laughs> That's what I say every time because it's so clean. Okay, all right. <laughs> he has the cleanest car in all the land, and I had to step it up. But mine looks clean, other than the scratch on the side from Adam. Okay, I think that's good. So hopefully you guys love this ketchup. We miss you so much that we try to do any video for you. We wanted to try to go to Deja Blue to the Goodwill Boutique to shop a quickie, but we couldn't because we're corporate America and we're very successful ex executives. Um, but we're gonna try to get back to it. And I'm gonna work on this video right now. So when you're seeing it, New York, back in New York. Yeah, I'm gonna try to work on this video right now, and then tomorrow. I don't know if I'll have that video up for tomorrow. Just don't pressure yourself for time. I, I can't. I have to go pack my closet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys, if you want to see any bit of your closet, let me of my closet. Let me know because I'm in the middle of packing up my closet, which is bittersweet. Oh, I meant to ask you. You didn't tell Adam I told you that what he told me, did you? You didn't mess up the insider trading. Did you tell Adam that I told you that he called me for me to come help you? Did you tell him that? I can't remember. You can't remember? 
He's gonna hate me. This is supposed to be our secret talk that I told you that me and him talked about. Well, like, he's stupid. Why would he tell you something that you weren't gonna tell me? And why would I tell him something that you weren't? But I wasn't gonna tell you. They're both stupid. They should never do that. <laughs> Shayna, it was. Have you guys seen I that ruined, meme? Our trust is ruined. Have now you, he doesn't trust chocolate people. Now. Have you ever seen that meme? The where it's like, uh, oh, don't worry, I won't tell anybody. And then it says like runs to your BFF to tell it. Tell them. Oh, right, right away, right away. <laughs> <laughs> totally. The thing is, if you do tell people, it should be a tight circle. It shouldn't be everybody. It should be like your, your, your husband, your oh, wife. I don't like gossip. Talk. I don't like gossip. I don't like gossiping. I don't like gossip. Now, don't get me wrong. I am one to talk. 